some distraction for him in that sense. Let's go to Kevin Andrews now, the Liberal front bencher at the federal level in the Tony Abbott team. Mr Andrews, thanks for your time. Uh, I know that Greg Hunt and others have been trying to say that this is a fresh start, but it's certainly messy, isn't it? Look, uh, sometimes these changes occur in politics and as changes go, this has been relatively smooth and that's because Ted Bailey has done, I think, uh, what you would expect from him. He's a very decent person. He said that the interests of Victoria come before my personal interests and after seven years as leader of the party, two years as Premier, having unexpectedly won the previous election, largely through the same courage that said let's put the Greens last, he's taken another courageous decision and said we need to put the state of Victoria before any personal interest I have so we can get on with government and ensure that Labor doesn't return to government in Victoria. Yeah, so everyone's saying he's a decent man, a good man, but why did he have to leave? There's no explanation as to that, except the only thing that really people can tell from the events of the last day or so is that the government's been held hostage by one colourful backbencher who's jumped ship. Uh, look, uh, there's always uh, a variety of events and people like to jump on something which they think is obvious, but really the words of Ted himself are the tale of this, and that is he said that he believed that it was time for a change. As I said, he's been the leader for seven years, although Premier for just two, uh, and this is an appropriate time. If there was going to be a change, it now gives Dennis Napthine uh, the opportunity to remind people what a disaster Labor were, to tell people what the vision that the Liberal Party has for Victoria, and to do that over the next 18 months. But how, how do you have the same potent potency with your attacks on the, the federal Labor Party, like Mr Abbott says, the, uh, uses the, the term the, the faceless men and has made a lot of ground on that front. But now we've seen a similar sort of thing in Melbourne in the Liberal Party, a first term Premier torn down. Oh, this is entirely different, Karen. In this case, you had a Premier who decided that the best thing to do for the state was for him to stand down after uh, many years as the leader of the party. That's entirely different to the plotters in the Labor Party, uh, the faceless men turning up one night and stabbing Kevin Rudd in the back uh, and replacing him with one of the plotters, namely Julia Gillard. I think people can tell the difference, which is entirely uh, separate from what happened uh, so far as the Labor Party in Canberra was concerned. Mr Andrews, appreciate your time. Thanks for that. And coming My up, we're going to...